Hey everybody, it's the doll boy and today I'm back with another video that I made with my sister. After our previous video together where we created backgrounds for doll photography, Arteza reached out to us and wanted to send us some more of their tools and paint to try out. Since my sister loved that first batch of Arteza products and she loves to make watercolor paintings, we were really excited to review these products for you guys. We got these tubes of watercolor paint with some tin boxes to use while painting. We got these triangled watercolor pencils and some real brush pens that are watercolor markers. They also send us some amazing metallic paint in a variety of colors. Unlike the rest of the paints, these ones are acrylic. To test out some of these products, my sister and I once again decided to create two doll backgrounds. The first background we did is an underwater scene with a lot of blue shades fading from really dark to a really light blue at the top. These watercolor paints blend together so nicely by simply wetting your brush and blending one color with the next one. Then in the bottom, we created a black rock effect with some seaweed details. For this, my sister also used the watercolor paint, just using a lot less water to keep it more pigmented and to have sharper lines. To me, this already looked really stunning. To test out this paint even more, we also added some white strips starting at the top, fading into the darkness of the sea to represent the sunlight from above the ocean. Then after adding some extra details in the plants, our aerial background was finished. For the next background, we measured the doll on the paper to make sure the placement was correct. For this background, we started off with the light blue metallic paint. After that, we once again used the blue watercolor paint, this time fading from a dark blue at the top to a lighter blue at the bottom. Again, the blend in these colors is so flawless. The color payoff is great and the paint gets on the paper without smudging. Then, the silver triangular shapes created the mountains. depth in them, we added darker shades of grey and blue. Then to bring back the dimension, we added these white outlines and shading. I feel like this really made the difference and made it look so good. After that dried, we took some metallic silver and light blue paint and created a giant snowflake at the top.
then for an extra winter feel, some tiny white speckles were added to complete the magical background for Queen Elsa. I really hope you liked this video, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. A link to Arteza will be posted in the info section down below, just like a list of all the products we've shown in this video. I would also love to hear what you thought of this video and what you would like to see next. But since this video is made for kids, YouTube unfortunately disabled the comment section. So if you want to stay in touch and talk directly to me, please follow me on Instagram at the doll boy. See you next time.